when a stone passes into the ureter, that's when people get that stereotypical kidney stone pain, which is excruciating and they can't get comfortable and they have to be seen in the emergency room. Kidney stone pain is quite characteristic. When you see a patient in the emergency room who has a kidney, who's passing a kidney stone, you pretty much know that what's going on. Uh, the stone forms up in the kidney, and a kidney stone is kind of a misnomer because it doesn't cause any pain when it's up in your kidney. A kidney stone causes pain when a small stone drops out of the kidney into the ureter, which is the urine tube that connects your kidney down to your bladder, and that's where urine goes into your bladder before you urinate it out. When a stone passes into the ureter, that's when people get that stereotypical kidney stone pain, which is excruciating and they can't get comfortable and they have to be seen in the emergency room. What happens is the stone gets trapped in a narrowed area of that urine tube. And then the patient's drinking a lot of water to try to pass the stone. But if urine can't get past the stone because of the blockage, the, the urine will then go back up into the kidney. The kidney will swell with urine. And then the pain fibers on the kidney get stretched. And that's what gives you that terrible pain that people describe. Kidney stone pain is pretty characteristic, and uh, when the people come into the emergency room, uh, they're usually attended to very quickly, given pain medication, and then they're sent for a CT scan or a CAT scan of their abdomen, which is the best and quickest test to identify a kidney stone, where it's located, and what kind of damage it might be doing.